guys, so I'm outside the Great Outdoors. I'm actually at a recycling center and I found something that you guys are gonna like. I figure let's do a video on it real quick. Hopefully the wind's not disturbing you too bad, uh, making too much wind noise in the phone. Uh, but I figure this is gonna help you guys out. It's gonna answer some of y'all's questions. It has to do with pressure right, washing. Guys. You're always asking me about these smaller pressure washers and stuff, and I honestly don't have a lot of experience with them, but this unit right here is the actual unit that I used to use when uh, when I first started out. I used to use a unit just like this. One of these little jobbers, little Honda motor up top here, little pump down at the bottom, Troy built. I got mine at, at uh, Lowe's, I think, for like 400 bucks or something like that. So what we're looking at here, 2,500 PSI and 2.3 max gallons per minute and then you have your little black tip for soap and then uh, your red is your real pinhole real small hole and then your green you might have a white you know as you go down like general cars and, stru and stuff like doing siding and stuff like that you know they're saying sidings and patio decks and driveways you use the green one um, that's you know but all I ever use is the soap one I just use the black one now here's the thing these little units is what you guys are asking me a lot about so let's ch check this out this is a broke unit here here's the pump all right here's the pump of this thing and we're always talking about downstream injectors and stuff like that so this is your in this is your this is your garden hose in right here all right so that that's where your fresh water supply will come in work its way through the pump and then go out right here your pressure hose all right your pressure hose connects right here so when we're always talking about downstream injectors and people saying can I use this with my downstream injector um, or you know can I use bleach with my downstream injector or with my little pump this is what you need to look for you see this arrow right here that shows you that's your out okay that's your pressure out this arrow that's your that's your garden hose in don't worry about anything over here all right, that pump's gonna do its magic. So the water comes in, does its magic, and brings the water out. This right here is your siphon port. Don't confuse this siphon port right here with this little black right here. This little black thing here, I believe, I could be wrong, somebody please correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is your little piss tube. And I think like when you're off your trigger for too long, it's kind of like an unloader valve and it's gonna let water squirt out instead of cavitating in the pump and screwing things up okay um, I think that's what this is this is like your little piss tube just lets water pressure out so clean water fresh water will keep coming into the pump and, and the pumps not drying up <laughs> that was weird but anyways this is your siphon port in you see how it's completely after the pump? You see how it's separated on its own? There's no, there's no uh, way that that siphon port is gonna go into the pump. That siphon is after the pump. That's downstream injecting. You are safe to use chemicals. Sorry. Noise pollution. Okay. You're safe to use chemicals with this here as far as I am concerned. Now listen, if your book, if your manual says do not use bleach, I'm telling you, do not use bleach, all right? Do as I say, not as I do. Well, what do you mean not as I do, Dan? Okay, here's what I mean, because I would use bleach. All right, so I hope that helps you out a little bit. Um, just a quick little video, just, just to let you know. I'm constantly thinking about you guys. I, I answer all your comments the best that I can and I read every one. As I come in here, I'll do what I can to try to find you guys um, some more pumps and stuff like that to give you demonstrations, okay? So hope that helps you guys out.